Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty. All right, so we are back to Trick and Treat. I kind of realized that I had been saying the name wrong, <laughs> probably because obviously it's so similar to the actual phrase Trick or Treat. Yeah, so the actual name is Trick and Treat. I have been saying it wrong for two episodes now. My bad. <laughs> also, here is costume number three. I'm a werewolf who hasn't yet changed because it's not a full moon out yet. Yeah, let's go with that. No, I'm kidding, guys. Here's here's the real costume. <laughs> As you can see, it is a authentic Ravenclaw robe. And uh, if you're asking why I say authentic, it's because I actually did pick this up years ago from when I went to Universal and the... Wizarding World and Universal finally opened up. And on top of that, it is also authentic because it has a wand pocket with my authentic Snape wand. I'm just calling it a Snape wand. I mean, I, I don't actually know what the wand is that Snape has exactly, like the actual specs of it, but this is Snape's wand. My sister actually picked this up for me <laughs> because Snape is one of my favorite characters from the Harry Potter, well, the Harry Potter Harry Potty. <laughs> Harry Potter movies. <laughs> I am the dweeb, not so much the weeb, the dweeb who literally hasn't really read the books. What's funny is I actually did try to get into the books. I'm not a big reader anyways, but I did try to keep up with some of the stuff that's actually in the books. So I do agree that in some ways, these color schemes are wrong for Ravenclaw. Like, I believe in the book, the actual color scheme was blue and bronze, not blue and silver. But I'm personally a fan of the blue and silver when it comes to aestheticness. The appealingness to the eye. The eye candy. This is eye candy to me. And uh, no, this is not an authentic one because obviously um, Ravenclaw does not have their house <laughs> on the actual tie itself. I picked this up at Walmart because I felt like I needed a tie to assert my Ravenclaw-ness. Just so that you're all aware. <laughs> but yeah, so this is costume number three. Um, it's also a good addition because I will say this is pretty well made for the cloak. It's pretty authentic to the actual robes that were used in the movie. It's expensive. I will say it is expensive. I think the coat was somewhere between like 120 to 150 dollars. So yes, it is an expensive souvenir. But it's great quality and along with it being authentic, it is also very warm. You wouldn't think that something like this would be really really warm, but it really is. Like I wear this a lot in the winter time simply because it is warm. And it's very long too, so it's not like a regular robe. Anyways, we're not here to hear about my Harry Potter geekiness. We're here to play Trick and Treat. So let's just get into that. Why don't we? <laughs> Alright, so we're back with Trick and Treat. And actually, it's kind of funny, guys. So literally, right as I shut off the recording, I figured out where the key went. I mean, I tested it out just to make sure that I wasn't like an idiot on camera because I've proven that one before a couple times. Yeah. Well, no, not that, I'm, not that I'm an idiot, but the fact that I make mistakes and then unfortunately show those mistakes on camera. Oops. Just call me human. So. Believe this is the right save file? Ah, right. We're not playing by actual gaming mechanics. Is this the right save file? Ah, it is. Okay. So, yep, let's just talk to him. And we already know what the answer is, so... Yeah. Headphones, get out of here. It was time that was slaughtered. Time is killed, so the party cannot begin. Can you bring time back so we can play happily, happily together? Go to the fireplace, realize that there's something in it. 
Oh yes, that's right. Get all the candy. Because we need all the candy. Any more candy? Hold Q. Locked. Yeah, see, like this. This is exactly where I prove that. At least it kind of gives you a right idea of like what item you need because, like, as you noticed, so like before I got to the cat or like I went to the cabinet and the queue was uh, grayed out. Then I went to the fireplace and it said, oh, you can use this item here. So at least if I'm absolutely stuck, I can just stand near items and just look at my inventory and be like, is this the right item? No. How about this one? <laughs> Clock key. It's open. Nothing inside, but it looks extremely spacious. I mean, absolutely go inside. these noises. It's an Alice in Wonderland themed kind of deal going on. Cool. A stopped clock. A toolbox, maybe. Big clock. A giant clock that is completely stopped on the... Is this a closet or a room? So, I'm guessing I just have to look at it and know that that's the time. So, it stopped at 2 o'clock, it looks like. A stopped clock. Each one, or each one shows a different time. God, the ticking. There are many clocks hanging on the wall. Each one shows a different time. I I'm sorry. What? There are many clocks on... Did the ticking just slow down? No, don't go that far. Why did, why, why did you just- No, stop. Here are two clocks. I only see one. Why does it say two? One is only right twice in a day. One is only right twice in a year. Which do you need? This clock is only right twice a day. Take it. So this is the yearly one. I, I don't know actually what the answer is and I can't like logically figure it out because I'm just like, I, I don't understand what the puzzle is here. I'm inclined to say twice a day considering that like you know, there's 12, or there's 24 hours in a day. But if you're using, like, a non-military time system, or analog time, I think it's called, you know, you have, like, 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. So I'm inclined to say twice a day. Got the clock that is right twice a day. Can I take both? Oh, okay. I can take both. Only one clock can be taken. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm putting it back. I'll put it back. Hmm. 
Yeah, put the clock back. Mr. Rabbit? No? Have you brought back time? A clock that's only right twice a day. It's just stopped, isn't it? You can't bring back time either. Therefore, you can only stay here with us. Forever. <laughs> Dead End 9. Stopped time. Huh, how did I know that ended up at my death? I mean, I I didn't actually know. I mean, I had like an inkling that choosing the wrong one would do my end death. Or you know what I mean. Wh whatever I'm trying to say. Words are hard, guys, okay? English is the hardest language ever. Alright. Put this piece of crap back. And go get the other clock. Oh, uh, no. Put it- sorry, put it back. Yes, put that back. Actually wondering. I can't interact with the eye, but the eye makes me very suspicious about, like, it should be used in some way. It's a little slow, but it's fine. Maybe time is still mad at us. At least it's back. We can start the party now. Yay! Ah, the door is open. Please lead everyone, then the master will show himself too. Oh, these are the little dolls! Hello, girls! Lead everyone. What, what do you mean, lead? The doll in the pink room. What do I like? I don't know. The doll in the green room. What do I like? Oh! Right! No, stop that. I have to go... So this is the... Red room. I do remember one of the girls having a piano in her room. So I'm trying to think. There's nothing in here that I can see. And I'm just trying to get an inkling of like what one of the girls wants. Oh, I thought one of them did. I thought one of them had a piano. At least. Maybe I'm thinking of another room entirely. Maybe I was. Maybe it's because I was in this room that I was thinking of the piano. Because it was in here. I feel like there was another one, but oh well. Okay. So that's leading back to this. The guests on the second floor enjoy music. Okay, so that's a hint to. Who was on the second floor? It was... I'm gonna make sure. Do I actually wanna make sure? Actually, no. I wanna make sure so I can... Make sure I can kinda get the right answer. And then get it wrong so I can see what the death animation is. Okay, so no. So then the one downstairs, that was pink or something like that, right? So this one was red, and then the one upstairs was... Or the other one was green. It would also help if I spelled it correctly. Green. Okay. 
Okay, so the guests on the second floor enjoy music. So... Music for red and green is what I'm thinking. The guest in the red room loves billards. Or as I like to call it, just pool. The dart lover lives above or below the pianist. So that means that it can't be pink. Pink, pink has to be whatever the other one is. So that means green has to be the pianist. Blue is the dart lover and then pink is whatever it was. Alright, let's save real quick. Just in case, because I don't want to have to do this over again. And let's just pick stuff randomly. So, pink! Oh, it was a heart. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused because it said, like, the second floor people like music, and the only two musical objects are the piano and the harp as options. But then it said that the person in the red room is the dart lover. And I believe red was on the second floor, right? You know what? Uh, piano... Harp... Billards... Darts... Oh, okay, so... Never mind, it's like more like a game of like... Just keep guessing, I guess. Alright, so let's guess the right thing. So this is pink, so... Harp... Green... Is... The... Pianist... Blue... Is the... Darts, right? Wait, I screwed this. Am I not reading their questions correctly? Am I screwing up what is considered the second... I am. I most certainly am. Yep. There we go. Pink, you are still harp. Green, you are now. Darts. Blue. You are the pianist. Oh. The party has started. The game is over. The noise. Was it from upstairs? What? Guessing the dolls don't really do anything, but I still feel the need to... Click on them. Congratulations, the game is over. Go to find the master of this house.
Hello, strange staircase that just appeared out of nowhere. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I went the long way around. Amelia won't be able to return to the house if she goes on. Continue? No. It kind of makes me think that there's something going on, like if I go to other parts of the house there will be something else. I'm just quickly gonna do a quick scan of the house, make sure that there's nothing else. Um, obviously, if there is something, I'll cut to it. If not, we'll cut back to the staircase and we'll continue on our way. Oh, secret entrance way. Which is funny, because that's like, obviously, like, I knew that there was a room there, but I didn't realize that there was a hidden door. You're not supposed to be here. Too effing bad. Oops. Are you lost? Do you like puzzles? Yes. I like puzzles too. You are still here. I see. I am not a bird. I am not a cat. Nobody except my murderer understood. Now I am asking, what is my biggest interest? Hmm. What's my biggest interest? I have no idea. What do a cat, a bird, and a murderer have in common? Uh, I don't know. I totally figured it out on my own. I totally didn't look it up. Hmm. Yeah. It was puzzle. It's not like they literally just told me two minutes before it literally gave me the freaking riddle. That's the answer. Hope you're having fun. All right, let's see. Anything? There are some classics on the bookshelves. Something about mythology and folklore. It's a window frame on the wall. <laughs> Quoth the writing desk, nevermore. It's very late now. Broom six standing in the corner, not cleaning, not flying, not carrying any buckets. Fantasia reference? Okay. So now I've checked every single room. So I think the only thing left is to go to that other room. I'm going to save obviously before it just because I have a feeling there's going to be a secret I, I will miss.
Amelia won't be able to return to the house if she goes on continue. Purple book. Then, the witch put a curse on the prince. The story goes on. I hope I didn't double tap it on accident. His rosy cheeks turned pale, his beautiful eyes turned red, and his teeth became big and sharp. Even if you look like this, the ones that aren't afraid of you are your loyal friends. The one that still falls for you will be your true love. That's a weird way to tr prove that someone's your true love. He wanted to hold luxurious parties, but he became allergic to shiny silverware. Nobody wanted to have dinner with him because he only needed one kind of food. He was changed, yet remained lonely. Even face in the mirror, the prince couldn't see anyone anymore. And that's why he set traps in the house? There is only one door. <laughs> no! Let's do it. I can finally meet the master of this house. Miss Charlotte must be there. The leaves are black. Is it fake? Can't touch that. Everything is red outside. Book. Save for whatever reason. The Lonely Prince lives in a cursed house. He is still lingering in this world, even today. Thank you for coming to my party. Please, do not leave again. Oh. Let's just see what happens when I leave. It's sad, but no way. Witches are not evil, neither is Miss Charlotte. I have to leave with her. I'll not stay at a place like this. But how can I get out? Please wait here. Well, I'm glad I saved beforehand. Okay, the invisible timer clicks down. Wow, I still can. I think I can push it away. Move it. Another secret door? Going down? Yes. This is... There are so many pumpkins. I like this room. It's so sweet and calming. I feel really sleepy all of a sudden. Don't go to sleep, please. A lovely pumpkin. An old piece of furniture. Why can't I pick up the candy? Can't move anymore. It is time. It seems someone has reached the final room. It's such a shame that the game is coming to an end. There weren't many guests anyway. Indeed, only two girls. And one of them is just running around with a great temper. Is there a chance that they can break the curse? 
Well, we should be there, too. Yes, of course. Open the door! I don't know who you are, but I know you are in there. How- Why is a player here? This is- What is going on? My question is exactly what the heck is going on? Give me back my Amelia. What happened? Sorry, but you are in the wrong area. This is staff only. Who cares? Listen, Amelia has no sense of direction and these puzzles are too dangerous for her. She can't stand it. Don't worry. I think you've noticed. Here, everything scary is just Halloween decorations. It's harmless to humans. Therefore, I believe Miss Amelia is fine. Of course I know your stupid joke jokes. Of course I know your stupid jokes aren't the real thing. But Amelia, she... She's not a normal human. Oh. I spent a lot of time on her. This place is full of real magic. She will definitely be broken if she stays too long. You... You should be responsible. Go look for Amelia. I didn't expect this. She's not a normal human? Someone has reached the final room. I think it's Miss Amelia. Amelia? In the final room? But I've searched everywhere before I broke into this room. What are we waiting for? Let's hurry. Sure. Oh crap, I'm playing as her. There's no time for this. I have to find Amelia. Okay, so... It's such an annoying house. Oh my god, why? Uh, how did I reach the f final room? It was over here. Thirty seconds, I can do it! Founder! Amelia! Are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't find you earlier. There was a small room for storage under the floor. She seemed to be too tired and fell asleep there. The door should have been locked. But somehow she went down instead of staying here waiting for us. That's why we missed her. Ooh. Amelia! I I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. Well, it's our fault for making these puzzles and scary things. I shouldn't have left Amelia behind, either. The air is so heavy, I can't breathe. You- you don't breathe! You're a vampire! You're dead! Is he crying? Oh my god, he's crying! Yes, very embarrassing. Okay, well, I guess we'll be leaving now. Sure, thanks for coming. Hope you had a good time. Ah, now that you mention it, the whole house smells like tomatoes. It's driving me crazy. I... I hate tomatoes. I've been so upset since... Since stepped into the lobby. Amelia, let's hurry back home. Okay, goodbye. Such a cruel world for monsters. Why have I met so many monsters? Why do these things happen to me? I'll just be a lonely monster. Forever. The normal ending. <laughs> a lonely monster. Yay!
50 candy bags collected, 25 barrels broken, one cleared. Hmm. Alright. So I'm gonna let the credits roll one just to kind of get the credits and obviously the appreciation for the game out there. I'm not gonna quite give my final say on the game just yet, only because obviously we only got the normal ending. And there was a save point when we got into that final room. So I'm guessing that there was another ending to that story, so... I think I got the achievement for all the candy. Yay! Ooh, there's extras. I will check that out in just a moment. I think it was this save file? Yes. Please do not leave me again. Stay. So, this is the whole story. A cursed prince. It's just like something in a fairy tale. In this house, it was just a party that they wanted. But how can I get out? I think I can push it away. Move it. Hoping this isn't going to be the same thing. Oh. Have you found her? She is not there. What? There's no one inside. John is checking other rooms. Don't worry, we'll find her. O okay, sure. Go inside, go downstairs. So let's go inside first. But I think I should check it myself. You said that one couldn't get out after entering the final room, right? Amelia probably fell asleep in a corner or something. Okay, I'll be looking for her downstairs then. There's another thing over there as well as over there. No one is here, as he said. Is Amelia really in this room? Secret door. I knew it! Amelia! You always fall asleep in weird places. <laughs> Just kicks the pumpkin out of the way. I was worried. Wake up, Amelia. Do you remember your name? Do you still remember... Me? Miss Charlotte? Miss Charlotte! You came here to find me! Thank you. I thought I could never see you again. Wow, you remember everything. I'm so happy. Aww! You do this a lot, falling asleep in a corner and waking up without a clue. But you're alright now. Teehee! It's great. Let's get out of here. Okay. Thank you for coming to my party, which obviously wasn't very popular. I was really looking forward to it. Thank goodness everything is fine. Okay, I'm not complaining, because Amelia has collected all the candy! She broke all the barrels, too. <laughs> I didn't teach her that! Why would she do that? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
By the way, you guys use too much ketchup. The whole place smells like tomatoes. It's terrible. Miss Charlotte, please don't be so picky on food. It's not good for your health. <laughs> you sound like my grandma. Same goes for Mr. Vampire. I have no choice because I was cursed. His appearance was turned into a vampire, but his appetite just turned to tomatoes. Isn't that called a vegetarian? What, with all this ketchup and paint? I thought... I said I was cursed. What were you? Hmm, sure, I noticed some magic in the house. Miss Charlotte, you are a real witch, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, there aren't many witches and monsters in this whole in this world now. And most of us are acquaintances. Who cursed you? Maybe I can help. But if it was a long time ago. Miss Charlotte is still young. Tee hee. Yet I'm wise. Well, it was just seventy years ago. It was like in the story, more or less. I was a prince, young and immature, and somehow didn't have much luck in my love life. Therefore, a countess said she would introduce me, a young lady. But the girl didn't come. That's really sad. I'm, I'm sorry. I guess you just weren't doing it for her. She didn't like me at all. <laughs> That's probably why she didn't come. Someone just loved the prince, while some would not even meet me because of the title. Seeing me disappointed, the countess said she could help me. I accepted, yet I never dreamed she was a witch. Then, she turned me like this. Saying something like, You will eventually meet the ones that truly understand you, someday. Who wants to understand a monster? Thanks to her, even the false friends were gone. Seventy years have... has passed. You were the first guest that visited me. Miss Charlotte, are you alright? You don't look well. Er, actually... I have a grandmother. She likes playing tricks on humans, especially young men. What is it, Grandma? Lottie. Here you are, my sweet girl. Would you like to have a date tomorrow? That's kind of weird. Having a date with your grandma? Sorry, what? Why? There was a prince holding a ball. No. Just like it, just like it in the story, Lottie. You'll love it. No. And the prince is a very nice young man. No. <laughs> I don't want a date. Don't be shy, sweetie. It's a beautiful thing. The feelings you have, especially when you are still so young. I'm only 16. Don't treat me like a human girl, please. You know my age is different from them. Ah. But this lovely rudeness and arrogance, you are just like those teenagers. <laughs> Give me a break, Grandma. I said I didn't want a date. I'll attend it myself, then. Don't be sorry if you miss anything fun. Well, this happened, um... Just 70 years ago. What? The second day I asked Grandma how the ball was. She told me the prince was a little... Blue. It was gorgeous, and everyone had a great time. Except the prince, because he didn't... Because you didn't want to meet him. I didn't promise anything. I didn't even know him. It's all grandma's fault. <laughs> True, so I tried to cheer him up. You know, I think I helped. You tried to help humans again? I guess it was another silly trick. Oh, don't make fun of your grandma. Well, it was nothing. All I did was make him love tomatoes. Excuse me? <laughs> this poor guy. 
the true end. They finally met. <laughs> we finally got the true ending, guys! Oh, man. A part of me is kind of a little disappointed that I got the true ending because I actually wanted the other endings first. <laughs> so then my question is... Like, so Charlotte alluded to the fact that Amelia wasn't a real human but then what is she she said like she spent so much time on her like is she an animatronic is she like a spirit brought back to life is she like a pseudo spirit okay so that just led us to the uh the true end as well all right, so I'm pretty satisfied. So it looks like we got dead end three, four, five, six, and nine. And if there's only nine endings, I'm guessing that we missed one, two, seven, and eight somehow. Um, and I don't know if all of those just technically count as bad endings in a sense, just like, you know, a collectiveness, just bad endings. But, I'm gonna check out the extras, just, it's the last thing, and then I'll give my final thoughts on the game itself. So what do we have in extras here? Oh my god, this is so cute. Why do I look like a maid? Oh, she looks like a maid too. To be honest, I didn't expect you to solve all the puzzles. You are amazing, Amelia. Without outfits. This is my usual outfit. These ordinary clothes are also very lovely. Of course, Amelia looks good in the maid uniform too. I knew it, I'm a servant. Miss Charlotte is pretty good at sewing. Thanks, you know I love making things. So here you are. Hee <laughs> hee. Witches, we are rare now. Most of us have been defeated by human heroes. The ones left are, well, rule followers. You see, I'm the human-loving type. My grandma likes humans too, that's why she enjoys being a part of their society. It's a relief that she didn't cause any real trouble like a war or something. It's all thanks to Andrea. Go to the tea party with me next time. I want them to meet you so much. Sure. We visit here a lot recently. Hmm. It's not bad to have a neighbor, I guess. Can you break the curse, Miss Charlotte? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Miss Marilyn is your grandmother, isn't she? Y yes. I'll ask Grandma when I see her next time. Why did Miss Charlotte get angry suddenly? Maybe she feels incompetent. Hello, John. Good evening. It's so nice to meet you again. Good evening, John. By the way, do you always wear that mask? Is it okay to take it off? This eye is damaged. <laughs> but sure, it's fine to take it off. I was only wearing this for Halloween. Please take it off. Okay, since you said so. It looks weird, right? No, not at all. None of us are normal anyway. That's true. What's your job as a butler? I think it's similar to yours. Housekeeping, cleaning, or cooking, and shopping. Richard can't go outside like that. Miss Charlotte hasn't allowed me to visit the town by myself. Maybe we can go shopping together next time. That's a great idea. Ah, oh, look at these fast friends. So I'm guessing you're Richard. You're here again, welcome. 
It's so nice to have guests. Not the curse. Don't ask a witch for help. Marilyn gave me this house along with the curse. Maybe she did want to help, but... Is there a way to break the curse? If I can find true love and propose successfully, probably. <laughs> what about John? I like girls. <laughs> I haven't said anything yet. I like girls too. <laughs> oh my god, that's precious. Uh, I'm just gonna ask him the other things first before I move on. That's my name. You haven't forgotten it, have you? No. Who's Charlie? Who was Charlie, the name on the tombstone? It was my dog. He stayed with me even after I was changed. It was incredible. Maybe you haven't changed that much. Charlie could tell. Nice. Beautiful clock. Cool. There are some sketches inside. Take a look. Yes. This was the first time that Lottie attended the tea party. Were the rules she held leading to order or to destruction? She was defending evil or justice? In the past, she tried to cover, was it innocence or mere chaos? That made it sound so complicated. But back then, somehow I solved a few problems. I'll tell you everything if we have time. About the witch's tea party. I want to hear more stories about Miss Charlotte, too. So I'm guessing that's going to be like on the bookshelves and such. Would you like to change the background music? I like this one. It sounds much more upbeat and kind of funny. There are some CDs in the album. Would you like to have a look? Yes. First album. Alright, so there's the main page. There's a blank page. Oh, I'm wondering, is this like the ones that I've collected throughout the game? So did I miss one? What's the second album? There are four different ending pictures in this album. Clear the true end of the second run to unlock them. Wait, what? Sure, let's read about the characters. Charlotte's maid, made from a pumpkin, innocent and loyal. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because she was only just made, she sometimes had problems functioning to Charlotte's annoyance. Born as a maid, Amelia is good at cooking and cleaning. She's still trying to learn how to act like a normal human. A young witch who just started living independently, living in the forest near a small town. She likes humans, but keeps them at distance. Cheerful, but short-tempered. Sewing is her hobby. She loves pink, although she would never admit it. Charlotte made the pumpkin maid for no reason but fun at first. However, she realized just how much she liked Amelia when she was missing. Now she considers Amelia more like an actual person rather than a piece of work of her own. John used to be a servant in Richard's palace. His left eye was injured by Marilyn when he witnessed her curse on Richard. Because of this incident, he was given an unnaturally long life and joined Richard as a butler. John seldom speaks of his views or feelings. He loves strong black tea without any milk. The youngest prince of a remote country. A little naive and sentimental. Somehow, trouble always finds him. He enjoys reading, especially detective and horror novels. 
Richard discussed true love with Marilyn at a ball, and then was cursed by her. Until he finds his true love, he will remain in the monstrous form of a vampire. Now, he is still confused with his own feelings. Charlotte's grandmother, Marilyn is a very romantic lady with an adventurous spirit. Unlike other witches, she often appears in human society. She loved playing tricks on humans. Nobody can ever tell if she's bullying them or trying to help them. Because of the witch's rules, which states to leave humans alone, she hasn't been meddling in human affairs lately. She adores Charlotte very much. Nice. Okay, so that was everything. This episode kind of ran on a little longer than I thought. And of course, like, as I was going through the extras area, or that, like, you know, the extra room, I guess, I realized there's a lot that I didn't find yet. And I think on my own, I will go off and find them just so that I can get all the achievements and I can feel accomplished in the fact that I did it. <laughs> I will also probably take out quite a bit of the stuff that's, well, kind of spoils it, I guess. Uh, only because I don't want to I don't want to spoil too too much, considering that I'm not going to do like a full completionist like this is what you're getting. Only because like I think the game is still free, you can go play it for yourself, and if anything, I would really recommend it. If there was to be a sequel of this game, if there's not one already and I haven't heard of it, let me think of the things that worked well with it and didn't work well. So, let's start with the bad stuff first. I'm a true believer of the fact of, you know, you always end on a good note. So let's start with the things I thought didn't work. My main complaint, really, is the fact of the hints for the puzzles are a little ambiguous uh, to the point of they're just too hard. Like, the secret room puzzle, like, the hints didn't really give me any idea about what the actual answer was. It was almost, like, misleading. And I don't know if that was necessarily the intention of the developer, to mislead the player, in a sense, to distract them and make it more difficult, because it, it is an extra room, it's not required to complete the game. Or if it was, I hate to say it, just poor planning? But yeah, so that was my one complaint, I guess. Um, the other thing, and I think for me this is not necessarily a complaint, like it doesn't necessarily detract from the game, I think it's just something on the developer's end, like something that I felt was a little unnecessary. So there were some puzzles that, you know, you go to a door, uh, like the very first door on the first floor to the left of the lobby, you go to the door and they ask you, you know, about the food. And I don't know if it necessarily changed the game in any way, but it almost seems like if you guess the food, you got free entryway into that room. But it seemed kind of useless because you were going to get in that room anyways when you went into the kitchen to then grab the wine bottle. So to me, I guess it just seems a little unnecessary to have some puzzles like that. And like the same thing with the time puzzle. There was no reason to have to ask for it. I mean, granted like the variation of the choice or the variation of the responses was nifty, but it seemed unnecessary because it didn't add or take away anything from the game. Like there was no consequence for entering it wrong, but there was also no reward for entering it right. So it kind of just seemed unnecessary. So I think having more of a purpose or a point to the puzzles would be a good idea. Um, but also making sure that the puzzles make sense. So like if you're going to put a riddle in there, make sure that the actual hints that you're giving actually make sense. Because the other thing too is in that same puzzle with the time puzzle, there were no hints to indicate that it could have been time. Like I was very lost. I was like, there was nothing leading up to this point to tell me it was time. I don't understand, what am I supposed to do? So that can kind of be frustrating to some players. Like, obviously you can still go throughout the game without needing to answer it correctly. But again, it's like for a game that prides itself on the puzzles, 
I feel like there should be a little bit more reward and consequence as well as like, you know, giving the player a little bit of a trail to lead them to that answer. But really, it doesn't take away that much from the game, it's just... So, they're more like features and enhancements, I would say, than problems of the game itself. But now moving on to the good points of the game. So, I love the storyline of this game. It was so charming and it was so unique in a sense, and the ending kind of took a little bit of a turn for me. I was thinking, like, when you got to the last room and it said stay or leave, I thought at first it was going to be Amelia choosing between Charlotte or Richard in kind of saying, who is my true love? Um, so it was kind of nice to see, like, with the true ending in a sense that it was kind of more like a friendship-based ending. I, I, it sounds very, very corny, but I think it still worked really, really well. And I really did like how you did get little tidbits of the story here and there, you know, as you explored the area and as you went through uh, the rooms and everything. I also really like the idea of having the multiple endings. I thought that was great. Especially like, the death endings. <laughs> I know it's so weird to say, but it is kind of funny to see like the different ways that you can accidentally kill Amelia. <laughs> and I did definitely think that the implementation of the items as well as um like the flashlight was a great addition i actually think the flashlight could have been used a lot more in a sense because i think there's like only two places really that it said that you'd be using it so i think that could have been implemented a lot more on top of that it's funny because the game isn't necessarily that long but it does offer a lot of content in the sense of like the actual gameplay of it. I didn't really feel like there was like a lot of fillers or there was anything to like try to buff it out or anything like that. No, I totally thought that, you know, a lot of it was, you know, there was a point to everything when it came to storyline. Even like the little things like the ghosts that were just dancing in the lobby and the ghost who was giving, you know, the tidbit you know, in the kitchen or in the dining area and saying like, you know, there were always a lot of parties here. It's kind of funny. I think the only question I have storyline wise, and maybe it will be answered in, you know, some of the more content that I have to unlock, is the ghosts. Are those old guest members, like the guests that came within those 70 years, whose souls just wander there now? who died from the same things that Amelia died from, in a sense? Or are they, like, memories, in a way? Like, kind of like sp spirits' memories that have attached to the house. Or even part of Richard's curse, in the sense of, like, that's part of his curse, is his memories. These are the memories of the people that are wandering in this house. They're not actual, real spirits or real ghosts in a sense but they're the memories of the people that were at his house at one point so yeah a lot of interesting questions um and on top of that like obviously i did see like in the extra content like obviously there are some little extras here and there like i think there was something about like getting multiple outfits for the characters once you completed the game and i also think that's a very very nice addition i love love <laughs> when developers allow you to customize your character in some way even if it's not like a full customization like you know stats name appearances and stuff like that though that is always really cool i understand though it is very hard to do that in rpg maker trust me i have tried it is very difficult so yes definitely i definitely want to keep playing this to get the extra stuff and see how like if i can actually get everything but on top of that, I kind of also wonder if the developer is still making games like this. Because I would absolutely adore if there was like a sequel to this or even like another game like this. This was great. I thought the story worked really, really well. I absolutely loved the custom art and everything. Like it was very well put together. It didn't feel necessarily like stock RPG maker assets 
it very much felt like a piece of its own with a lot of the stuff that was put in it. It was also very charming. I love the setting. A lot of the sound effects were really great too. And it was even funny because like, even though, yes, it, you kind of learn by the end, it's like, oh, it's not real. It's just a joke. It had a very spooky atmosphere. Like, I was kind of wondering the whole time, like, oh my god. Am I actually, like, is my character actually going to die at the end of this? Like, is it going to be a ruse? Like, oh yeah, you did it, death. <laughs> so, yes, I would, I absolutely adore this. I completely recommend that you guys play it yourself. Obviously, if I haven't ruined it for you, I'm sorry. Very sorry. So, yeah, that is my view on the game. That is uh, the game we picked for this year of Halloween. I still have a lot more games to play in the sense of what I have planned for like next year and stuff like that. But obviously, if there is a game that you're like, hey, put this on your list to play for this year. Or even if you have a holiday game, I am totally up for like looking for holiday games for any holiday in particular. Even if it's not one that I necessarily celebrate. Like if you find like a Kwanzaa or like... Uh, even Boxing Day holiday, like, holiday game. But yeah, so like, even if you have games like that, definitely recommend them to me. I will definitely keep a lookout for them. I am all about finding games like this, especially free ones. Can't go wrong with free. <laughs> so yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video I make. Bye-bye.